Uh, well, today's job was a brush clearing. Um, literally straightforward, just go inside there. It's like a machine's like a lawnmower, so we're just clearing a path for the customer. Um, he uses his property for uh, for hunting. He's got about 415 acres or something like that, he said. And uh, usually he has a, a big uh, cap machine come inside here and uh, clear all the paths. Uh, everything got overgrown because he hasn't done it in a while, so that's why we came in here and uh, to basically open it all up and so this way he can maintain it for future on. Okay, so as we can see here, our trusty operator J-Bob is headed down to clear this trail. For those wondering how you maintain a path through the bush, well, this is the answer. I'm gonna walk you through why this is our favorite lawnmower. So what we have here is our track skid steer, our compact track loader, and our brush mower mounted on the front of it. So in this footage, we can see J-Bob clearing a path. Uh, this customer had a huge property and part of it, the vast majority of it actually is unmaintained bush and they have back there a cabin and some hiking and walking trails that they use for recreational purposes throughout the season whether that be cross-country skiing in the winter or quadding in the summer now as time goes on these paths continuously get grown back in and the homeowner contacted us looking for a quick and efficient way to open up the paths again so as you can see we're doing our first pass into the path with our new lawnmower and basically we're going to do a double and in some spots a triple wide pass just to open it up so you can see the grass here is grown um it's quite tall already about three and a half feet and then on either side is a tree line so we want to maintain the path close to the tree line now the homeowner doesn't want it wide open but he does want it to be accessible for vehicles and the sort so basically what jbob is going to be doing is going down the path one way and coming back the other way and clearing everything out and opening it up nicely anyway so as you can see there's a bunch of deadfall along the path these are dead trees that have fallen and the homeowners just push them off to the side uh there's all kinds of stuff actually side note um we will be returning to this property with a forestry mulcher the homeowner wants us to clean up a lot of this deadfall and just chip it all up so it's out of the way some of it they use for firewood but it is quite a bit of work to buck up all the wood and then haul it out of the bush all right so here's a nice fall along Long. and you can see he's going at a good pace this is probably about walking speed and he's processing this material no problem at all now it's not huge material but it is still four or five feet tall and he's processing it rather quickly much quicker than you know your home depot lawnmower you can see he's slightly overlapping the area that's cleaned this is just to keep the mower deck from bogging down too much so they can process the material efficiently so as he goes over material you can see behind what's left is virtually nothing it looks like a rough cut field of grass basically and so it does a nice job cleaning everything up now if there's wood in there or branches um something a little bit larger j bob will process that with the mower and it'll come out as wood chips but those will degrade rather quickly the nice thing about the wood chips also is it provides a nice clean ground cover and it prevents weeds from coming up and keeps things from getting muddy so kind of win-win we just leave those behind here you can see j bob's gone triple wide on this he's doing a third pass to open it up even wider in this section this is one of their main sections in and out of their bush and they wanted this area opened up even a little bit wider than just the two passes so to give you a reference the mower deck is 72 inches wide or that's the cutting width is 72 inches so right here we're probably around 12 to 14 feet wide so relatively wide it's good that you can drive a vehicle in there and not have to worry about brushing up against any trees or anything and damage your paint and there is their property they're at the end of the road which is very nice. No neighbors other than timber wolves and some deer. And no job is complete without cleaning your equipment. Here you can see some of the shredded wood that got stuck in the actual mower deck. And we're on to the next job. Um, so today's job was a brush clearing job for a new customer of ours. Uh, <clears throat> he's been in this house for only a year, just got, recently got this property. So today what we're doing is just cutting down the outskirts of his pond. Uh, he had some overgrown bush um, that he wanted basically cleared up because he wants to do some work. Uh, wants to regrade it. Uh, he's got some, I, I believe they're called like uh, some sort of rats, uh, water rats or something. I don't know what they're called. But uh, basically that's what we're doing today is cutting down all the bush for him to get him access. He's going to pump out the, the water from that pond. 
redo his irrigation system. Eventually, hopefully, he'll call us back. He was mentioned about it uh, for us to do some grading around the uh, the pond, and that's pretty much today's job. And then it rained super hard, and thank God J-Bob was inside a machine. This job was awesome. It was a pond cleaning job, though so the homeowner here has a nice half acre, three quarter acre pond. And around his pond is just all overgrown with trees and bush and bulrushes and he wanted to clean it up. Now the water level is quite a bit lower. We haven't had a lot of rain this year. Of course it did decide to rain while we shot this video, of course but it did make for some epic good looking shots. So the story of this pond is the homeowner wanted the perimeter of the pond cleared. And as you can see from the aerial footage, he maintains the grass or the lawn around the pond, but the pond itself is quite overgrown. Now he's got a nice dock and he wanted to clean it up so that it's a little bit more presentable and looks nice and tidy. So again, J-Bob brought out the mower and here you can see how low the water actually is. It's gotta be at least three feet, maybe even four feet low. And that that's just because we haven't had any rain and so really low. Once the water level comes back up and we clean all the overgrowth around the perimeter away, it'd be a nice looking pond. The bulrushes and bushes do provide some nice privacy though, I will say that. And mother nature no longer cooperated.